Now can you see my dough is ready and then I'm going to make small bowl and then with the oily hand like this so it's up to you you can make big or small so uh, I grease this plate with the oil and I'm going to put like this this is how we need to do this can you see this is perfect consistency for puri dough and then I make this for puri you can leave uh, like this as well if you want to but it's easy job to do this puri and then I'm going to put cling flame on it and then when it's time to fry I show you now can you see it's done now uh, my all uh, I make a lemon balls with the uh, two cup of flour plain flour half a cup of um, wheat flour normal chapati flour and then I make a lemon balls with this I'm going to cover this uh, clean flame for 20 minutes then when I fry I show you how to fry them how they look Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put in the oil. Can you see my oil is warm? It's not too hot, not too cold, but it's in between like this. Be careful. And like this. Can you see? Bismillah Looks really nice and fresh, mashallah. And when you try this puriya at home, I hope you enjoy it. Few seconds one side and then turn another side. So it's about in half a minute. This puri is ready. Can you see? It looks perfect. And I'm going to show you when I serve with the halwa and chole. So my kids and my husband, they're very really excited to eat this at home so and you see it's perfect like this and I'm going to add another one oily hand like this and do this first you can do with your hand as well if you want to or if you use rolling pin you can use rolling pin like this so this is my second one this is second one can you see it's perfect you need to be careful with the oil can you see I'm turning the other side Now can you see I'm going to serve with the chickpeas and potato and chole and uh, puriya and then halwa with the mint sauce and then uh, coriander sauce. Thank you so much for watching and uh, thank you.